Thanks. She's not the least bit shell shocked. She is. She's tough. She's. Uh, she's smart. She's extremely and extremely uh, on target with what, with what the, the job she needs to be doing. No, she's very. She's an amazing woman. <laughs> she really is. I'm very impressed with her. When did you and your husband first discuss her as a mm -hmm. possibility? A while ago. A while ago. We have, as you know, we, uh, John and I, did pretty much discuss everything, and. He brought her name up to me some months ago, uh, after the primaries, of course, and uh, and as as he did a lot of names. I mean, we were thinking about a lot of different people, and uh, Sarah was in that mix. And uh, I'm very happy he chose the governor. I'm I couldn't be happier, in fact. And when he he called me and said, "Okay, I think I'm going to do this," I was, uh, if I could, I would have done backflips. <laughs> I'm too old, but I could have. <laughs> do you feel confident, Mrs. McCain, that the vetting process? which is getting a lot of attention, was as thorough as it needed to be and that Senator McCain knew everything he needed to know? Well, I was right in the middle of it. I know the vetting process was thorough. Uh, I knew what was going on, so absolutely. It was, she was vetted and she was uh, thoroughly vetted. Uh, that's, you know, this is something that just because the media didn't know doesn't mean we didn't vet her. <laughs> the scuttlebutt, if you will, behind the scenes is that Senator McCain really wanted Joe Lieberman to be his running mate, but social conservatives would find him unacceptable because of his position mm -hmm. on abortion. My husband and Joe are very good friends, and it, wouldn't it be nice to work with your best friend, of course, uh, but, but we had to consider other things as well, and reform uh, being, the, as you know, my husband's most important issue, and, and my husband felt that, that Governor Palin was a better fit for that. Some even Republicans seem surprised that Senator McCain picked a running mate who opposes abortion even in the, in the cases of rape and incest and believes creationism should be taught in schools. And I'm just curious, do you agree with that? What I agree with is the fact that she is a social conservative, she is a reform-minded woman, she is someone that will shake the, the Washington up, which is exactly what we want to do. Um, we differ on many issues. We differ w across the board with people. We don't have to agree on every issue. Where do you stand on abortion? I'm pro-life. I'm on the record as being pro-life like my husband. So do you oppose it even in the cases of rape and incest? No. No. Mm -hmm. So that's where you two differ mm -hmm. in terms of your mm -hmm. position on that. Do you believe Roe v. Wade should be overturned? No. No? no? I don't. No. Why not? Your husband does. No, I don't think he does. I he think believes that it should be overturned. That's what he told me, and that it should go to the states. Well, in that respect, yes, yeah, it is a state. That I understand what you're saying now. It is a state's issue, absolutely. That I so do. You, so you do believe it should be overturned or shouldn't be overturned? I believe it's a state's issue. That okay. I do believe. How do you feel about creationism? Do you think it should be taught in schools? I think both sides should be taught in schools. I think the more children have a frame of reference and an opportunity to, to read and to know, they make better decisions and judgments uh, when they're adults. So I think, uh, you know, I don't, I don't have any problem with, with education of any kind. 